June may be Pride Month, but in Rochester, you'll find events celebrating the LGBTQ plus community throughout the entire summer. That includes the festival and parade making a return for the first time in two years. Eric Cost has more. In just five weeks, the Rochester Pride Parade and Festival returning again. Not only is this the first full-blown event in two years, it's also a major milestone. 50 years since the first organized Pride events were held in Rochester. Sam Brett has been participating since the 90s. I was a student at RIT, <laughs> uh, and you were hooked, right? You go to every parade after that. About 15 years ago, he started out as a volunteer. And part of the journey, he says, is giving back partnering with local organizations like Trillium Health. LGBTQ Health is written in our mission statement, so Trillium Health has a leadership role in that, but it's many, many folks coming together, including the senior group, LGBTQ Rochester Together group, um, and just many folks who are just passionate about pride, like <laughs> Sam. Susanna Speed with Trillium Health says it's more than just the festival and the parade. Over 50 events are planned throughout the summer, and even in the worst of the pandemic, she says the Pride community found a way to be together while inviting others in. Pride has always happened. I think folks often think about just the festival and the parade, but Pride is more than just that. This year, the two say they're focusing on Pride history and encouraging others to join the fun. We have a long history of representation in our community. Pride is not just for LGBTQ plus people, right? They're for the friends and family who love us, um, for folks who have traditionally been very strong allies. We always encourage folks to come to Pride because our community truly is unique and it's built up of many identities. Reporting, Erica Cost, News 8.